Hey farmers, my name is Dan and I'm the developer of the Maps for FS tool. In this video tutorial, I will explain you how you can create a background terrain for your map using the mesh that was generated in the tool. First step is to download and install Blender. In my case, I'm using Blender uh, 4.3 and I didn't have any issues with it or either with Giant's uh, exporter with this version, so I would uh, suggest to use the same version, but of course you can try others but there's no guarantee that it will work. So you will find the links to download this exact version in the video description. And let's get uh, to the render um, exporter plugins. We need this one. You can download them from Giant and you will need to register on the website. And also I would like to add uh, some notes about installing Blender and Giant's i3D exporter plugins that some people uh, reported that for uh, translated versions of Blender to different languages, sometimes it does not work. So I would suggest using only English Blender. Uh, do not use any locales, uh, because sometimes it can lead to the issues. Okay, so we downloaded and installed Blender. Uh, we downloaded and installed uh, Giant's i3D exporter. So let's uh, import our background terrain. So to import our file, we need to go to File, Import, and we need uh, this one, Wavefront PG, and let's get to, to the version of the directory. We need Background uh, folder here and this file. Import it. Now ensure that the file is selected, right click in, on the scene, and uh, we need Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. And then we'll need to click here for N hotkey and set everything to zeros, including the rotation. And now switch to the view tab and edit this value so it will be bigger, something like this. And we can zoom out and we'll see our background terrain and the center is already removed. So it looks more or less fine. Let's also check that the dimensions I correct, and they look fine. So our map size is two kilometers. We also have um, background on the direction, so it should be uh, like this for two kilometers map. So now let's do the following. First, we will save our file as Blender file. Just in case, we will go to the background uh, folder and save it as as a blend file. And now we need to check our satellite images. Uh, they will be in satellite directory and for the background terrain we'll need satellite background. And I would suggest to compressing those files so they will be a little bit smaller. And for this case you can use a website or a software you prefer. So I'm just compress PNG and the source link here, upload the file and wait until it's compressed. Satellite and satellite background. Let's wait a little bit. So the file was compressed. It should be smaller now. Let's download it. And put it in the same directory. Satellite. And so it's time for us to make our mess. Um, Smaller in the meaning of the file size. Uh, let's uh, open modifier tab. We need a new modifier here. We will need to decimate this one. And uh, for starters, I would recommend the value uh, 0.1 or something, but it really depends on the map size and so on. So you will need to play with this value to ensure that the output file, uh, the i3D files that we will have later, will be smaller than um, something like 20 megabytes. And now let's add our material. We'll go to the material tab and click button. And now we need to click here, this color and this circle, so image texture, and open. Well, even we'll need to provide um, the path to satellite image that we just compressed this one and we also should uh, edit roughness make it to uh, 1.1 and we need to also set the emission color to the black one here 
Now we need to open the UV editing tab. Here we will switch to the top view. Yes. Zoom out a little bit and then hit the A. Our mesh is selected. Now we need to use U, put key, and select Reset from U minus option. And as you can see, it worked. It's expected. Let's get back to the layout tab. Now in the layout tab, we can uh, press and hold Z and switch to the material preview. As we can see, our texture was added successfully. Everything looks fine. Here is the river. Heal and so on. And it's time to save our file. Just save file and set. Now, once the file was saved, uh, we need to open Exporter plugin here. And ensure that it was selected. And all we need to do here is we already saved our file earlier. And this box is checked. We just need to hit the Export Selected button. So the file was exported. Uh, let's uh, check if everything is fine with it. We will go to the background directory and we have uh, a 3D file here and also the shapes file here. So in our case, the size is about uh, 16 gigabytes. But uh, if you will have a larger file, like 30 or 40 megabytes and so on depending on the map size you will need to adjust uh, this value and make it smaller so the file uh, should be less than 20 megabytes or something or maybe 16 megabytes i don't remember the exact value so just ensure that the file is not big okay after we exported our background terrain as i3d file we can open our map I'm gonna go to File, Import, and select the background uh, file. And we need to adjust the position, maybe some transforms also. But in most cases, it should be more or less accurate, depending on the terrain, of course. So, this is how you can create a background terrain for your map using the mesh and the satellite images that were generated by the tools. Uh, if you have any questions or issues, I welcome you to join our Discord server. And if you want to support the development of the project, uh, I would appreciate it if you can uh, support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. You'll find the links in the description. So thank you for watching and see you. Bye bye.